Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. The subject of this month, and even partially of last month, is about timing. The timing we talk about now, right now, is more personal than an overview. This particular channel, I want to talk about something that is really part of your everyday life and existence. Now, we have spoken many times about the energy of not just expectations, but of affirmations of thinking positive and negative and what happens when you do. We are going to talk about the timing of synchronicity. So in order to make this channel more complete, there must be a review. In this, a channel about drilling down to talk about something specific in timing for you. We have to also talk more about the energy. And that energy that we want to talk about mostly is that energy of that which brings to you what you create. Now, you can call that energy whatever you want to. But the way it works is very profound. It's almost too profound because there will be those who say, Cryon, what you have just told me doesn't exist. If you would interview most humans on the planet, they would tell you that you are born and if you're lucky, you exist. If you're lucky, you won't have accidents that may terminate your life or cripple you if you're lucky. And that if you're not lucky, it'll be the opposite. And so it seems to be at some level you are a victim of chance. And most would say, that's correct. I mean, why wouldn't it be? You can't control the future. You may not be able to control the future, dear ones, but you can control the present. And we have told you that that which some call the law of attraction is you putting energy in front of you somehow so that when you arrive at that place where you put that energy, you get synchronicity. So let's back up and talk a little more about that. There is something around this planet, around the consciousness, that is not even esoteric. It's physical. It is called the field. It is a multidimensionality where consciousness, which is energy, resides. This is being studied and validated at so many levels that someday it'll have a name more than just the field. And those who expect these good things to happen actually put it in the field. And when they do so, it helps to arrange their lives so that as they walk forward, they will have the correct things happen. Let me put it this way. Any road that you might go to and you don't know what it is may have potholes and rocks and smooth areas. So there are those who say you're blindfolded and you may trip on the rocks or step in the potholes and it's called chance and luck. Then I come along and tell you that if you were to project that you would only be in smooth areas, that there is some kind of energy that leads you into the smooth areas. And that is synchronicity. That is what you call it. Some just call it luck. We call it synchronicity. I'm going to go further. I call it created synchronicity. Now, the synchronicity doesn't always have to be positive. Now, I have talked to you about this before, and I'm going to do it again, because you cannot hear this too many times. If you are always negative, if you are invested in how this planet has victimized you and you'll never get ahead, you are going to create your own synchronicity and you're going to step in every pothole that exists. Are you getting this? You create that which is your reality as you walk. You're not necessarily creating your future. You're creating your present. But you have put in front of you your future an energy of synchronicity. 
and you've given it a positive twist, a thought. And these are the affirmations that we talk about. Crying, is this positive thinking? Is this just something you hope for? When it comes to synchronicity, it's not hoping, dear ones. We have given you instructions that said it's almost like ordering on a menu. That if you expect these things every day, on a daily basis, they occur. Now, there would be those who are so linear listening to this, and you're going to say this, well, that's absurd, because if I have a problem and I just don't know the solution, how can I put in front of me the solution, Cryon? <laughs> so let me, O oh, linear one, give you the answer to that. Here is your projection. Here is your affirmation. As I walk forward, I will always step into that which will give me solutions to my problems. How about that one? In other words, you don't have to put in front of you absolutely everything that you're wanting or look for or expect, but that which perhaps is even greater. Dear Spirit, let me always walk in the light. Dear Spirit, put me in the best places I can be. Now, the circle of 12, we're going to enhance this just a little more. But there are things that you can give yourself in these affirmations that, that people don't even think of. What kind of control do you think you have? Let me ask a question. Have you ever had an experience where you were about to do something, something you'd planned, perhaps something you'd look forward to, perhaps something you expected, and you were stopped? Tonight in the circle of 12, I'll tell you why. If you are asking to create synchronicity and there's something in front of you that's inappropriate, intuition may stop you if you're tuned into it. This, I'll tell you what gets in the way, dear ones. What's in the, in the way is where you set your mind to something no matter what. And you get all kinds of esoteric signs and signals and intuition. Perhaps you should wait. Perhaps you should wait. And you move forward and you step in a pothole. I think some of you have had this experience as well. We are talking about one of the greatest tools in the new energy. And it's being enhanced. Some of you who are learning how this works have had these things happen more than one time. Some of you are expecting things, starting to learn how this feels and using it every day of your life. Waking up in the morning and saying, no matter what happens to me this day, I will project the things that will solve them, being in the right place at the right time, meeting the right people, and staying tuned up, being attuned to the synchronicity that I need to see. There are those also starting to understand that those you meet along the way may very well have something for you, even though it doesn't seem like it. Those perhaps you will meet and you would just simply say hello and dismiss them and move on may have some kind of a package for you that will change your life. So that means that you have to perhaps examine situations differently. The Spirit brings to you because you ask for them. You simply didn't recognize them. More than synchronicity. Now we're talking about gifts that you have actually projected and asked for that sometimes you miss. Timing. Timing. It's a beautiful thought, is it not, that perhaps you as a human being have control over your life. I want you to think with me for just a moment, maybe even project your life. There you sit. Now, some of you, perhaps this is for some of you, it's new. And you'd like perhaps a, a little more idea about what I'm talking about. So let's go through it. It's so, it's so important that you understand that this is doable, more than doable. This is something that you can use now, every day, practical, esoteric information that works. Dear Spirit, I'm uncertain about my future. 
Dear Spirit, I may have this or that. Dear God, whatever, however you want to say it. You say, let me project in front of me what I need for me. Not for others, but for me. And in the process, let me find that what I do will then be for others. Dear Spirit, let me walk into my solutions. Dear Spirit, bring me the right scenarios and the right people and the right relationships that I need to have to move forward in love. The best one we told you about many times. Dear Spirit, show me what I need to know. And if you have the courage to say that, also have the courage to dismiss what you expect. What if you were expecting A and you got B and B was far more valuable than A? But you were so stuck on A, you went down the A path and, and you missed B. These are things that you have to get used to. Dismissing the expectation and being okay with something better. You never know what spirit is going to give you, especially when you're so open, so open to love and more beauty than you even expected. You're magnificent. God loves you so much, so willing to take your hand and leading you right into the synchronicity that you deserve. Timing, more than luck. You do not live in a chance world if you choose to use the tool for a smooth path. I would not tell you these things if they were not true. And so many have experienced this exact same thing. So many of you. Blessed is a human being who understands the power they really have over everyday life and occurrences. Relax in this, dear ones. And so it is.